I remember you telling me. I didn't remember. I couldn't remember that was your first one. Yeah. So um, is this gonna be like a serious, serious like interview? No, like, no, no, no. no. This anything? is oh, yeah, okay, it's right. completely candid. Oh, like, yeah, some stuff's gonna be funny, and some stuff maybe a little dramatic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm Brian S1K from uh, Brazelton, Georgia. Uh, I had a 2007 Kawasaki ZX6R. As your first bike? Yes. Fuck. <laughs> Which I wrecked my first time riding it. I started watching Spunky FL. You know who that is? Hey, man, Florida. He don't make videos no more, man. It pisses me off. Uh, but Spunky FL from Florida, like, he... Pretty much, I saw how cool it was, how he went around his city. Like, just the way he was, like expressing himself like he would always I don't know it's weird him and um who's my other one? Oh yeah snowcat snowcat I love snowcat man I can relate to him because you know the whole he hates idiots he hates how stupid people are and how they drive and all so I mean I kind of <laughs> relate to that so and, uh, yeah, I started watching him and then I got my camera when I was uh when I first got this actually just before I got this I got a camera I got the GoPro Started making videos. Went to that. Went to that uh, chase meet last year. Uh, I mean, Spunky FL, Snowcat XX87. They. Uh, I wish Spunky still made videos, man. Those things were they're hilarious. Yet he was like serious. You got to see like you got to see like the hood part of Florida <laughs> or part of it where he uh, would like go and you can see like his cool ass graffiti. It's just, it's just like, motorbiking is like a way to express yourself, like, you can do it if people don't like it, I mean, like what you say, I mean, fuck them, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, my name's Brian, uh, <laughs> I ride at S1000, so, uh, I guess it's pretty self two and two yeah. together, and I just say, hey, Brian S1K. Like, motorbike? Mm -hmm. Or, okay, uh, I'm gonna have to go rewatch that. <laughs> 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 Uh, I think it was about how I got into writing. It might have been an introduction to what I ride, actually. I think it was, I was just telling people how, what I, about myself and then what I ride. And, and I think my next video was how I ate shit when I first rode my first bike. Tore me Hmm. The amount of stuff you can capture while riding that you don't ever expect to see. Like, Hall County is, like, right there. So, I mean... Just going a mile down the road, and I could see somebody like just all over the road doing stupid stuff. Maybe I should put my phone up and not be waving it around. Uh, just, I mean, the fact that I can talk to myself and not really give a shit. Like, I just talk, and people like what I say, so. <laughs> when, I, uh, when I was down, it was my, the, my most embarrassing story. Do you remember that one? When the chick tripped over the curb right yeah. in front of me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was my favorite one. I don't know why. It was just the way that, it was just the timing. I mean, when I was, I literally like, it's just tied in because that's what I meant to go talk about. It's like my most embarrassing story and I had somebody trip over a curb right in front of me. It was just, it, it was like the like, perfect timing. Uh, I'm going to say the, my vlog about like texting while driving because you know, I mean, I've had my share of close calls. I'm pretty sure we all have. I saw a friend almost get hit right in front of me. I actually have a video right there. That, I don't know if you remember that one, Jimmy. That car that crossed the yellow. Like it literally was coming out of me, crossed the yellow. And literally, he's probably that far. I can't. From, I can't like, remember now. Probably that far from clipping the mirror. But uh, I'm trying to raise awareness, you know, because I mean, what we do is it's dangerous. I mean, there's no other way to put it. So try to wear awareness. Try to raise awareness while like being aware of myself, you know. Just one? Just one. Wow. Well, setup wise, two. Because I had one on top of the helmet and that was definitely not a smart idea. <laughs> Going down the interstate 80 miles an hour, your helmet's ripping off your head. But yeah, I love the chin mount. Put that on your chin. No wind drag, nothing. It's, it's <sighs> counting this one? Uh -huh. Is four? One was wrecked. The first one, okay, is this where I can say my story about how I wrecked yeah. my first? All right, well, 
My ZX6R I had for about 30 minutes and I wrecked it. Uh, I didn't know how to ride. I thought I was being a cool guy, the cool kid on the block. And <laughs> I had a bunch of people with me. I had like seven people with me. We rolled over to uh, that abandoned neighborhood where I do a lot of pictures and stuff. And uh, I got on the bike and went about maybe 50, 60 yards. Got up to about 40. Popped it in the second. The front came up just a little bit, scared the shit out of me, and I laid it down on the gravel. Tore my ACL. That was road rash from here. Because, hey, 40 miles an hour on gravel, that hurts like hell. And uh, so. Uh, went from that, I had a, at the same time, I had a 05-636 that all custom paint, everything. I was letting my friend ride it. I rode it a couple times, but he ended up somehow catching it on fire. It actually caught on fire. Did I ever tell you that? It actually caught on fire. Uh, he was down in uh, the Hamilton Miller area, and he pulled over. I don't know if he had an oil leak or something. I don't know what happened, but next thing you know, it, like, he sends me, he calls me. He's like, yeah, so the 636 is in flames. I was like. I don't know if you're kidding or if you like actually like painted flames on it or and then he sent me a picture I was like oh shit I didn't know what to do uh, we ended up getting it back up here it was it wasn't that bad it actually wasn't as bad as damage wise as I thought it was but. so I pretty much after that I called it quits so I was like man I don't think I'm ever gonna ride again so I went from not riding at all and I want to say this was back in 2010 and 2013 rolls around. My friend rolls up on his 07 CBR 600 up, up to my house, and I uh, I see it. I'm like, all right, that's cool, that's cool. I started bringing back the like the the want to ride again. This is actually a one. I didn't want to be bad. I was actually wanting to learn to ride and do all that. And I pretty much next within the next two weeks, I had a Jixer 1000 stretched. Yes, stretched. I don't know. Seven seven inches. It wasn't that bad. Uh, sitting in my garage. Built motor. You know, people thought I was an idiot. My neighbor right across the street races motorcycles. He came over and was like, "That's way too much bike for you." But I mean, I learned on it. I was I was smart about it this time. And look at me now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably the reaching out, like meeting a bunch of new people. I mean, the amount of people I've met through motor vlogging is pretty ridiculous. Like. The fact that I can upload a video, people will watch it, they'll like it. If they don't like it, then whatever. I mean, hey, I'm not going to lose any sleep. It's just crazy the amount of people I've met. Though. Like, the fact that you can impact somebody's, oh, somebody else's life by riding a bike with a camera on your helmet is actually pretty crazy. Working where I work, scheduled doesn't always work out. It's the whole... She gave me a crazy look anyway. Uh... <laughs> She's smiling. <laughs> anyway, uh... yeah, I know her well. Anyway, uh... What's the question? Do you prefer scheduled or? Oh, or yeah, that's right. You know, working, I work from I either go in at 12, 1, or 2, and I don't know when I'm getting off work. So, I mean, it kind of makes it hard to make a vlog, unless it's my days off, which it's, just, it's hard to do a scheduled. Cause I want to do Monday, like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or like a Monday, Thursday, Friday. Mm -hmm. And I mean, if I could do schedule, I like that. But lately, or when I was back making videos, it was just spontaneous. I would like do two videos a week. Sometimes I'll only be able to do one. But, I, mean, I would prefer to do a scheduled one though. Altogether, I was probably spent a few days just editing wise. <laughs> like I don't, I can't give you like a perfect yeah, yeah, number, yeah, yeah. but like I'd say at least two or three days editing if you count it all together. Yeah. Because I mean, I got some pretty long videos, and I got some like three minute videos. It's just the longer ones are kind of a pain. Yeah. It's taking a good bit of work. Uh, Cause I mean, obviously starting from zero, mm. not really knowing anybody. And then now I know a good bit of people. I've hung out with a good bit of people and all. It's just, it's cool to see. Um, like, now that I can't, I haven't been able to make videos the last few months. I've relied on, like, Instagram and Facebook and all that. So, I mean, it takes a good bit of work to be able to get where you want to be. Mm -hmm. And I'm still not there yet, but I will.
will be soon. You. <laughs> um. I think I'm actually. I'll, I'll, I've never had any help really. It's always been. Yeah. Do. I do me, and that's about it. Work. <laughs> <laughs> Riding to and from work, honestly, man. If I had it like I had it a few years ago, then I'd be riding all day, every day. Just, I know it's the whole work thing, the whole nine to five, on well, my case, 12 to whatever the hell I get mm -hmm. off. Uh, it sucks sometimes, but hey, I mean, I gotta, <laughs> yeah, I gotta look back. If I, if I was gonna face reveal, I mean, this would be like perfect just to look back and be like, hey, I mean, as long as you work hard to do whatever, I mean, hey, you can do whatever. Basketball. I mean, I play sports all my life. So, I mean, you know, go play baseball, play basketball, football, anything like that. I mean, I'm starting to hit the gym again now. Um, get back into shape. Get back to my high school days. That was, but I mean, you know, I love sports. Hell, I mean, in my free time, I'll just ride, honestly. So, I mean, like, if I get stressed or anything like that, I'll just hop on the bike, ride for a few hours, come back home and be all right. But I mainly just ride, play sports, just have fun, hang out with friends, go to the bars. <laughs> <laughs> standard. Well, for now, I'm doing standard. When I buy my new rear sets, I'll be doing my, I'll do a GP show. Hmm. Okay. Uh. Well, when it comes in relation to like where all most majority of motobloggers live, I'd say like Chase, Yummy, all the guys down there around the Atlanta area. But if I wanted to like live in a badass area and just to chill, I'd say downshift. Living down there in Panama is actually pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, I, I'm not lie, I feel like he probably gets bored every once in a while though. I mean, it, it's it's that's a that's a teenage town right there. But I mean, it'd still be awesome to like live down there. Hell, if it's only for a year. <laughs> Baker X Derek, man, God, he's got <laughs> it so shitty out there in the ghetto. I mean, God, dang, I'd hate to be out there. Uh, yeah, Derek. Uh, pretty much anybody up north, honestly. Cause I mean, that's a cow. But yeah, I think anybody up north. I mean. That much snow that you get up there, that's gotta suck. Uh, I mean, yeah, we get rain down here. As you can see, look at my driveway. Uh, um, but, I mean, I think Georgia's like the perfect place to motovlog, honestly, because you got the mountains, you have beaches, you have, oh, beaches. You have uh, the big city. If you wanna go drag race, just go down south. I mean, we got pretty much everything. Oh my God. You? So why actually not one from Motor Volume? Never mind. I met you through LRA. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Never mind. So like Chase, Rami. What was technically Motor Volume? Yeah. What was it? Downshift. Uh, Motonosity. Riding rubber. I remember everybody from the meetup down there. That's where I started to meet everybody. Um, Mr. Shifty. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Shaky Bomb, maybe. Uh, um, yeah, that's all that was down there. I haven't really met any newer faces since then. Oh, yeah. Shag. Um, I mean, that's pretty much. Derek, <laughs> I want to meet that son of a bitch. Uh, it's actually cool to work with somebody that actually is like really good friends with him. That's the small world right there. I'm yeah. not gonna lie. Uh, but I mean, either Derek or I really want to meet Riding with Tom or Baron Von Grumble. If I could meet either of those three, I'd be satisfied. But if I could meet Grumble, that would be that would be pretty sick. In the damn GoPro, man. Uh, God damn, <laughs> so, bitch.
<laughs> That's a loud ass cow. <laughs> Probably just having time. Oh, that would have been really cool. I can change one thing about my channel is being able to upload more. I mean, it's just hard, but I love doing it and all. But if I could like change one thing about my channel, if I had that one thing I could change, it would probably be... Do a lot more dual vlogs. Probably. I like, dual vlogs are fun, it's just, I never have the time to do them, obviously, but, I mean... It's just full, cause you just, you could be talking about a topic, and you see something, you're both just gonna start laughing and like, just... So, I mean... Dual vlogs are pretty awesome. If I could do more of those, I would do them in a heartbeat. I mean, we have to look at it like that and you can't think of anything. So if I wanted to or if I had to change anything. If you wanted to. Carbon fiber. The whole thing? Yeah. The whole bike will, well, I mean, give me another year or so and that whole bike will be carbon fiber. But, I don't know what it is about that whole blacked out look. I love how everybody thinks the headlights look, ick. I mean, I love them. I love the way those headlights look and then a lot of people want the full belly pin. I love, I love the way it looks like. If you change that exhaust out and take that ugly, hideous cat off, I mean, I love it like that, honestly. Uh, I think the, I think that the full belly pin makes it look too bulky, honestly. Right? I mean, if I could change anything, I'd say carbon fiber. Yeah, so like not posting enough and uh, lengthwise of videos, because like some of my videos will be. Like three minutes, and then I could have a video going for like 13, 14 minutes. If I could like keep it within like the the eight, like the seven, eight, nine minute range, mm -hmm. then that's being like consistent with videos, not like having like a two minute video and then going to like do a 13 minute video. It's just like consistency. That would be. <laughs> Moto vlog while doing track day. <laughs> that would be. I mean, you know, you got like Marcel Ernie who does the whole track days and his races. He, he'll sit there and talk to himself on video while like in first place of a huge race. I mean, obviously it can be done as long as you're smart and not stupid. Uh, but also, I would love to take a trip to Isle of Man, do a motor vlog over there. That would be, that's my, that's on my bucket list by far. That's probably number one on my bucket list. But uh, that are going up to the indie races. Oh man, it's kind of hard to answer that right now. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think I ever will. I mean, you can't really look that far ahead because I wanted to go on for a long time. But I mean, motor vlogging has grown so much over the last like three years. It's ridiculous, and I don't see it stopping anytime soon. And I don't want to stop until it stops. I mean. So as long as it's going, as long as the whole motor vlogging in general is going, I'll I'll be there doing.